Mr. Weber has the First Amendment. Madam Chair, I have amendment a amendment at the desk. Yes. Amendment number one offered by Mr. Weber. I ask unanimous consent to dispense with the reading without objection, show order. I recognize the gentleman for five minutes to explain his amendment. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate that. My amendment to H.R. 3607, the Fossil Energy Research and Development Act of 2019, would modify the bill to allocate more moderate funding levels and address the unnecessary narrowing of the mission of the fossil energy research programs included in the underlying bill. Once again, like the ranking member, I do believe, with, along with the chairwoman, we have a bipartisan bill within our reach. While H.R. 3607 includes many programs that I support, like innovative research in carbon capture technologies, indeed we have a very large carbon capture uh, sequestration plant in our, facility, in our district, like carbon utilization research and natural gas production R&D, the spending authorized in the bill is simply not realistic. This legislation would increase total spending in this area to over one billion with the B dollars by fiscal year 2024, which is a 36 percent increase from enacted levels. This level of funding is aspirational at best and irresponsible at its worst. As has been cited earlier, our national debt is out of control and we just cannot increase spending for every program. We have to make choices about priorities and use our limited resources in the best way we can. This amendment also addresses another concern that I have with this legislation, and that is the narrowing of the mission goals within the fossil energy R&D program. The changes proposed to the mission goals in the majority's legislation would focus fossil R&D programs on almost entirely on emissions control technologies. And while I'm supportive of funding research to help us better capture, store, and utilize carbon, did I mention we have a facility in our district? This cannot be our only goal when it comes uh, to fossil to energy technology. So accordingly, my amendment would restore important provisions authorizing DOE to conduct research on a broad range of production, on consumption, and on utilization technologies for fossil fuels. We could actually achieve those lower energy costs that uh, our good friend from Colorado, Mr. Perlmutter, talked about earlier. It's our job in Congress to focus federal agencies on the best use of limited federal funding and to set clear priorities for agencies to develop innovative technologies. But we cannot increase every program by 30 to 40 percent, no matter how nice, no matter how much and how nice that sounds. So I support aspects of the research programs authorized in this legislation, and my amendment allows for modest growth in funds authorized for fossil energy research in the years ahead. But we must be fiscally responsible, and most of all, we have to be honest and realistic about we, what we can truly achieve. So I believe this amendment is a common sense, fiscally responsible proposal, and I encourage my colleagues to support the amendment. Madam Chair, I yield back.